Hey folks, well last weekend I had my first jam on the Bamboo Lab and it's because I wanted to compare using this multicolored filament on my stegosaurs to see how good this would print in comparison to bed slingers. Anyways, I put the reel in in the middle here and it went all squirrely when it was loading it and I found out that cardboard reels do not run well in an AMS. Anyways, uh, I kind of panicked at the time. I went a little squirrely and I grabbed the reel out of the slot because it was jumping around, etc only to discover after the fact that it was jammed I could not pull the filament out of the AMS. So I went and did some research on YouTube where I searched the word jam and what I came up with was people talking about clogged nozzles, broken pieces in the tube. In my situation I knew that hadn't occurred and there was no way I was going to be taking this thing apart. Not when it's brand spanking new so I decided that I would lift the reel out of place and that I would take enough material off the reel so that I could load it onto this uh, empty reel that I had so that I could try to start the print and see if it would solve the issue itself. Now, I did, and fortunately, it did resolve the issue. I was able to continue and complete the print. The print came out, and it came out okay. I mean, there's some settings that need to be adjusted for this. This is basically four color silk material, which I'll work on in the future, but my biggest concern was making sure I got this thing uh, unjammed. After doing some more research, I might have been better off trying the unload button, but of course I didn't find that when I was searching for a jam. But I did discover that there's more key words that you need to think about when you have an issue and that is if you're searching it might be a jam it could be stuck it could be clog these are the types of keywords that you want to search for that might help you to find your issue and just a just a closing tip i mean uh, this core here has the rfid attached to the core and in case i ever end up reusing this core i end up writing that this RFID tag on the core is orange. I'm going to keep giving updates on my progress. This was my third week with it. I've done a lot of printing this week and I actually have a solution to being able to load these reels from the cardboard reels and that'll be my next video. So if you like, please subscribe and come back and I will share as I'm learning.